months. I've been warned of a conspiracy among this council. I have even been urged to have some of you arrested. Lots of you noticed when you came tonight. I take such little alarm from these warnings that I have dismissed my personal bodyguard. I intend to conduct this meeting in as quiet and civilized manner as possible. I want each man to feel that he may speak freely. I want to have your criticism. So you see, Dino, you have no need of the hand grenade in your briefcase. Now then, how many signatures of support do you have for your resolution to force me to relinquish my powers? Eleven, Duchesne. Still 17 to go. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not entirely betrayed, only partially. This is not a betrayal, Duchesne. It's an appeal to you to help us all save Italy. The army has only two efficient divisions left. The Air Force is reduced to 200 planes. Our Navy did not venture out of port. Enemy warplanes bomb our cities, yet only a short time ago, you told the people that would never happen. You also told the people the enemy would never set foot on Italian soil. Yet even now, the Americans overrun Sicily and are preparing to attack our mainland. People have long memories. They remember all your empty promises. I submit this order of the day, Excellency. It declares that to achieve a reunity of the Italian people, it is necessary to restore immediately all functions belonging to the state, to the king, which is now assumed command of the armed forces on land, on sea, and in the air. Gentlemen, beware. Grandi's motion places the very existence of the regime in jeopardy, and with it, each of you. This motion speaks to the crown. In such a case, the king has only two choices. Either to ask me to continue in office or to liquidate fascism. And with that liquidation, each of you falls with me. Since you are all individually men, I have personally selected and counted upon for counsel. Are you willing to run that risk? You believe you have the devotion of the people not true. You lost it the day you tied Italy to Germany. People are with me. Ask the mothers who cry out in the streets. Il Duce has murdered my son. This man is lying. I wonder what will happen tomorrow to those who oppose me tonight. The Duce is blackmailing us. Forcing us to choose between our fidelity to his person devotion to Italy. Gentlemen, given those alternatives, we cannot hesitate. We must choose Italy. Very well. I will put it to the vote. As courts are calling names.